everyone welcome back and today I am going to do the tag video my bold or out of comfort zone products and I was tagged by the beautiful Sandra and her uh, YouTube name is makeup lover USA and um, thank you Sandra for tagging me uh, I really appreciate that and um, yeah you guys uh, check out Sandra she's really beautiful and she makes really fun and great beauty videos uh, she makes some hauls outfits of the day baskets of the week stuff like that and I, I love her favorite videos so yeah check her out and okay so let's get right into it my bold or or out of comfort zone products now I had to dig real deep for this one and um, so anyway here we go the first product is this Stila blush And as you can see here, it says custom color blush. Right? Okay. Now, just a little backstory before I show you the color. And I think I saw maybe Michelle. Uh, I think I saw someone show this blush. And I was like, wait a minute, I have that. So anyway, I got this blush uh, off of a shopping network let's put it that way okay and the way they described it on the channel was it was a universal color and you know it kind of it's supposed to blend in with your skin and all that stuff so anyway I got this blush and here it is Now that is bold, isn't it? Needless to say, it's not my color. I have never been able to get this blush to work for me. <laughs> but yeah. So, I, th I think this is going to turn out to be more of a video that of of products that did not work for me <laughs> but yeah I thought that was pretty funny that Stila the next one is and we may see a, 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 a theme going on here with these colors the next product is this eyeshadow by Too Faced <laughs> And it is called, how appropriate, Mess in a Dress. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look at this. Now, in the pan, it's a beautiful, bold color. On me, on my eyes, it translates almost red. It was not flattering at all. <laughs> oh, let me give you guys a swatch. I don't know what it is with me in these colors. Of course, I have um, gotten better, better since then. The, the, these two products, it's been a while, let's put it that way. I can almost use this eyeshadow as a blush. But then again, I don't really wear blushes that bright. <laughs> so yeah, out of my comfort zone, way out. And then here we go again. Maybelline Color Tattoo, Pomegranate Punk.
of course when these first came out I had to jump on the bandwagon and you know there was so much buzz about these color tattoos and I had to get me some as well but this color was not the way it translates again on my eyes is red I don't know if you'll be able to see it there I mean even swatched it's, it's kind of pretty but on my as an eyeshadow it just didn't work it was just too red on my eyes on my eyelids so that made me uncomfortable wearing it needless to say I haven't worn it, worn it since then now now this these two products I don't even know where to begin okay let's see I saw a beautiful youtuber and I'm not gonna call her name because you know but it's someone that I admire she's really good and I saw her use these two products and I thought I would give them a try okay now she worked magic with them they looked great on her okay so it's not her fault these are products that just didn't work for me so here we go this is a 3d cream eyeshadow called diamond glitz I'm gonna have to give you a swatch so you can really get the picture And it's really pretty when you swatch it. See how it has that like multicolored blue, green, gray. It's a really pretty color. And then to top it off, to make things even worse. <laughs> I got the shadow this is the loose shadow and it comes like this and then I guess the way you're supposed to use it is you put the shadow on top of the um the cream shadow because if you use it by itself I'm trying to get some out here for you now it's giving me it's coming out kind of weird that's it there it's really pretty I guess on the right person it really is beautiful but it just didn't work for me um, I have lines you know the skin on my lids is not the smoothest anymore it's putting it delicately <laughs> so when I put this shadow or these two shadows on my lids I look like what I would describe as like lizard skin not a very good look <laughs> so anyway yeah so those two those are my bold out of, of comfort zone products that I really don't use so there are more products that didn't work for me now two products I oh I wish I had my let me get back here I need to get a wipe so I can clean my fingers off got all this color on me yep 
Christmas tree. So those are the products that are way out of my comfort zone and did not work at all. Now, two products that I would like to talk about and maybe recommend. The first one is this nail polish. And that's the, the color that I am wearing today. And it's a Revlon color. And it is called Bewitching. Right? Yeah, 620. Bewitching. And I just picked this up this week. This week, yeah. I was in Walmart and I saw this color and it is so beautiful. I just had to get it. Now, normally I don't wear like reds and you know bold colors. Well, let me backpedal a little bit. You know, during the summer I wore a lot of bright pinks and you know blues and stuff like that. But I am not really a red girl, you know, red nail polish. But anyway, as we all may know that this these are the colors that's in for fall and this is not quite red it's a you know uh, how would you describe it? wine berry color but anyway it just works and I love it so bold color a little bit out of my comfort zone but I am enjoying it and in honor of this video, I thought I would wear it and show you guys. And then the next product is the lipstick that I am wearing. Now, I used to wear reds when I was in my 20s, a while back, a long time ago. I used to wear reds, a simple eye, not much eyeshadow. Sometimes I, I would just line my eyes, you know, the blue eyeliner thing, stuff like that. But a simple eye and red lipstick. And somewhere along the line, I got away from it, and I don't even know why. And, but anyway, reds are back in again. And I am... I found this one and I'm kind of playing around with it. I kind of sort of like it. I think maybe I'm still trying to get used to it. But, um, oh yeah. So it is this Makeup Forever lipstick. And the color is N47. Rouge Natural, Rouge Artist Natural, or Natural, however they say it, N47. It's a beautiful red. Still trying to get used to it, kind of, sort of like it. Like it. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for my bold or out of comfort zone products. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome um, my new subscribers. I hope that you all enjoy my video and will stay around and keep my company. Okay, thank you so much. And thanks again, Sandra, for tagging me and uh, saying such kind words about me in your last video. I really appreciate um, 
what you did. I, I appreciate that. It was so sweet of you, and it was a, such a pleasant surprise. I did not. I was not look, expecting that, you know. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.